How about some quick hits? Let's go, guys. <laughs> Porto's Colombian winger, Luis Diaz, has joined Liverpool. Ooh. Jules, he's having a monster season. He was a bit up and down his last few years before uh, Porto. Yeah, yeah, and I even think that we can say this season that he's been a bit inconsistent at times. Okay, the, the expectations are quite high. Uh, but, but I still think, and I watched him the other day with Colombia, for example, against Peru, and he, I thought he was disappointing. Uh, in the way he played and the way they defended on him and all of that. So there's work to do there. He's only 25. I th you can still say that he's quite raw in a way. But I, I think Sergio Mane was quite raw when he moved to Liverpool with Klopp and look at what Klopp have done with him. So I think there was still a, some inconsistency with Mane at Southampton, capable of scoring a hat-trick in 10 minutes in the Premier League, but also going through games where he was quite anonymous. Klopp made him into a world-class player. And I really expect Luis Diaz to do the same with Klopp at Liverpool. So... Listen, it's just us being a little bit picky. He's a wonderful player. He's young. He's the next cycle, the post Mane and Salah era with Jota at Liverpool. And I think it's a great signing for a decent amount of money. It's still a lot of money, but I think he's decent for someone of his quality. I think it's a ton of money. I think given the age that he's at, because you have to project that how much you're going to get. I like the signing because it gives him, I think primarily, I agree with you, it is a gamble because he has been inconsistent and you have to put your faith in, in Klopp that he can add yeah. that level. Remember, Jota wasn't really Jota when he arrived exactly. at, <laughs> at, at Liverpool either for, from Wolves. You know, he'd been okay, even good at Wolves, but he went to another level. Yeah. I think what this really matters is this really gives them leverage over the three forwards, Firmino and especially Sadio Mane and, and Mo Salah. Mm. You know, you can go out there at some point and you can hardball them. You can say, listen, we think you're this much, we, we can pay this much, we're not going to go beyond that. And then, you know, kind of call their bluff. Yeah, and it yeah, doesn't yeah. become a tragedy if one of them leaves. And that, that this really, really helped. We talked about this before with, uh, um, with, with Juventus and Dybala Morata. I, I think mm. this is something that clubs are doing more and more. Yeah, no, I agree. Gab, Tottenham are especially annoyed about this, though, about the Luis Diaz transfer. According to the Daily Telegraph, they thought they had a deal in place with the player and with Porto only for Liverpool, for Liverpool to come and hijack it or, or backdoor it? Is that how I think? I think you can use the word hijack. Yeah. Um, I think backdoor might have different implications. Um, I, look, <laughs> I mean, I think there was so much detail in this piece, that, uh, this Telegraph piece, that you yeah. kind of know, like, all right, this is very, very well sourced. Definitely. And you can imagine where it's coming from. Like, they had an agreement with the club. They had an agreement with the player. But until you put pen to paper, that's the difficulty you run mm. into. And if I'm Porto, there's nothing wrong with me bringing up Liverpool and saying, hey, you guys are interested in this? Well, if you can you know, do this, I think Liverpool basically just changed the terms of the payments. The structure, yeah. He gets on the, Klopp goes on the, gets on the FaceTime with, with Diaz. You see that big, you know, the smile? How can you say no to that? You know the sound of the FaceTime, and then suddenly you go, oh, you're getting Klopp with his yeah. big. Imagine, you're, you're greeted by that on one side, and the other side you're greeted by Antonio Conte. Not quite the same thing. Maybe, maybe. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.